Doctor, you mentioned the, the menhaden fish. It's not uh, typically a fish we hear of that we serve up in a filet and eat on our plate, but uh, can you talk a little bit more about it and, and its uh, sources of DPA? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the, the fish is, uh, it has been harvested in the U.S. since colonial times. It's typically used for manufacturing of oils um, that go to supplements, uh, but it's typically you won't find that this fish in grocery stores. And the reason for that is that it's it's a very oily fish, a very bony fish, and it has uh, it's, it's a very um, a very distinct fishy flavor. And many U.S. consumers don't like to have bones in their fillets. Mm. They, uh, many cases, they like some kind of bland type of fish, uh, similar to tilapia or something, and they they don't like eating fish like herring. It's, 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 a very, it's a very efficient source of uh, fish oil just because it's very oily. So it may not be a good, a good fish to eat as a, as a fillet, but it's a very, very efficient source of oil that can be used for supplements. But Hayden is, is a very good source of, uh, of DPA, and the reasons for that are probably because it has a unique ability to accumulate DPA as compared to other, other fish species. That's number one. And number two is probably the environment where, 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 where it uh, swims and the, the, f the food that it consumes is uh, algae and, uh, and uh, zooplankton and phytoplankton. These are the, the, the uh, food that, that, that is consumed by Manhattan and is converted to DPA and accumulated in the, in the flesh of the fish that makes it a good source.